Hello everybody, it's me Faith. In this video, I will explore Ukopo. Ukopo is a Zulu word that describes a plant with a scientific name, Gunera pepensa. The word Ukopo is derived from the word Koposa, which refers to the flowing of fluids, like the flowing of the river. So one of the traditional medicinal uses of ukopo is actually to correct the flow of fluids within the body by removing the excess fluids that are in the body. So that's where the name actually comes from. Ukopo resembles the pumpkin plant, hence the English name for ukopo is river pumpkin. In the Gunera genus, which is what Ukopo species belongs to, Ukopo is the only species in the entire genus that is found in Africa. Like Isikrikisum Kovu, Ukopo falls in the category of some of the oldest living plants. Ukopo has been around for the last 95 million years, and at one point in time, it might have been food for dinosaurs as well. Ugopo grows up to one meter in height. It grows near water or in wetlands. Ugopo is also on the red list of endangered species. This is due to the mismanagement of wetlands, that's the habitat, and the over-harvesting of ukopo for the traditional medicine trade. Ukopo is another one of those plants that my grandfather would call uzi for zonke. It treats a wide range of ailments. The leaves, roots, and stems are the parts of this plant that are most extensively used in traditional medicine. Ukopo is used to treat impotence in men and barrenness in women. It is used to treat kidney problems. It's used to heal body pains. It helps relieve constipation. It is used to treat certain sexually transmitted infections. Ukopo is used to dress wounds and to treat colds. It is used to treat diseases of the urinary tract. Emakaya ukopo is used to treat gastrointestinal parasites in chickens. It is also used to protect animals from tick bites and other parasites. Ukopo is used to relieve menstrual pains. The herbal mixture made using the roots is used to promote good fetal development. The mixture also helps ensure a quick and easy labor. The mixture is used to induce labor as well in both humans and animals. Vets also use ukopo for helping animals give birth fast. So it's used in both animals and human beings. The root is also used to expel the placenta after birth. Ukopo is also used to treat endometritis, which is an inflammation in the uterus, and it's used to treat endometritis in both humans and animals as well. Zulu people use ukopo to help women lactate or produce milk from their breasts after giving birth. Ukopo is one of many plants that are used to stimulate the production of milk. Women who struggle to conceive have used ukopo to increase their chances of getting pregnant. Women also drink ukopo herbal mixture after giving birth 
to cleanse the body and to help it recover quickly. Ukopo is one of the ingredients that is used in herbal mixtures like isilambezo and inembe. Inembe is a potent labor-inducing herbal mixture that is regularly taken during pregnancy to ensure an easy childbirth. Inembe is made from the root of a plant called Idolo Lengunyana, which is scientifically known as Cyphostema natalitum. Islambezo is a herbal mixture that is used by pregnant women in South Africa as a pregnancy tonic to help speed up birth and to expel the placenta. I did a post on Instagram on what is included in Islambezo, so all the ingredients that are typically used when making Islambezo. The list is quite long, so if you're interested, you can just go and check it out on the Imitia Sintu Instagram. That's it on Ugopo. Use the comment section to Palapek. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and bye.